Come on now. Hello, Trail Freak here, coming at you from the bike shed. Hello, Trail Freak here, I'm gonna interrupt you for a minute. I've been trying to upload this video forever. My computer has been on the frit, so once I get this one uploaded, I'm still gonna shoot videos, but I'm not sure when I can get videos uploaded. So I'm gonna have a video for a couple of weeks until I get my computer straightened out. So again, just wanted a short little video that took me forever, even though there's hardly any cuts in it. It like took forever to get my computer to do anything. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, there's a little, I don't know if you, anybody recognizes that van, but all right, we're gonna see about that later. Thank you. Still haven't built my bench over there, so man. Huh? Yeah, I haven't built my bench. All right, just a little short video about 2019 and what I will be doing in 2020. So 2019 was a decent year for me. Uh, the goals I set in 2018, I met some of them. You know, I, I raced an enduro. Uh, I raced nearly a whole season of XC of the series that's here in Mississippi. I missed one race and uh, I think I podiumed twice, if I remember right. But anyway, my points got me a first place for the overall championship. So that was pretty cool. So I did that. I didn't ride as much as I wanted to in 2019. I don't know. I mean, if you see my video about my depression, you know, that's part of it. A little bit of, I hit a wall there. So, that was part of it. Another part is, I'm just lazy. Man, I can't put down the Cokes, dude. And the food. The food doesn't help. But, the past week or so, I've cut back. Of, uh, I haven't drank as many Cokes. I've cut back on my Coke. I used to drink a Coke every day, or two or three a day. But now I'm down to about three a week. I need the, I just need to cut cokes out completely. That's hard to do. Well, you know, with anything that you really like and love, it's hard to do. So 2019 wasn't, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good. You know, it's, it's a toss up between bad and good. I mean, it wasn't terrible. I had some good times, so I got to meet some new people and race some new races and it was, Overall, a good year. Overall, had its ups and downs like everything else. Like I said, I read. I, I, you know, last year I said I want to race the Duros. I wanted to work on my backyard trail, I think, and, and the biggest thing is trying to lose weight. And like I said, that don't, that hadn't happened. And like you just saw, man, I'm way, way overweight right now. So I'm trying to get back into riding more. And right now the weather's been crap, so I haven't got to ride too much. But I did do a race the other day, a go nuts race. That was pretty cool. So I'm trying to get back there. I'm trying to get back there. And for 2020, I want to uh, first of all, I want to get rid of this gut, get in better shape because I want to race the go nuts enduro series that's coming up. I got just over a month to get ready for that. So I got, I don't have very long to get ready for that. Then they're doing, I think there's four uh, till the spring or somewhere in there. You know, there's like four races. Then I think we'll take a break and start back up in the fall. Anyway, my plan is to do all those Enduros or to go nuts. And I want to do some other Enduros that pop up. Like uh, the Quick Six, I think that's in May or April. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But I wanna do that. And I'm not gonna do as many XC races this year. I'm gonna do a couple, a few, but not like I did last year. Last year I did nearly all of the series here in Mississippi. And I'm not gonna do that because I wanna focus on trying to you know, do good in Enduros. Uh, so my goals for 2020, lose weight, get in shape, Race Enduros, uh, I need to work on my trails some more, some other little stuff I want to build. 
and improve some stuff on it. And I want to see what else was there. Yeah, there was something else. So, uh, oh yeah, I want to build a bike. Cause my old so EX uh, eight. That's a good bike. It's a good trail bike. But it's not suited for enduro, so I'd like to try to build up an enduro. What that'll be, I have no idea. And if I ever will, I have no idea. So I might be just riding this thing until it falls apart. But I'm gonna try to build another bike for the enduros. So I should have a couple videos on that. You know, if it all happens, still up in the air. Oh yeah, and uh, a little, we got a little mountain bike group in uh, my area you know there's only like five of us just you know that stuck together in the last couple of years and it's hard to get in this area there's not very many people in the mountain bikes it's hard to get it's hard to get a, a group to stay together i mean there's people that ride mountain bikes all over the place but it's like they're not they're not into it like we are and it's hard to get a good group but anyway this group <clears throat> we're going to be building trails in a state park Carco State Park. We're gonna be building some trails there. The, the goal for this year is to get a five mile loop. So that's one thing I'm gonna be working on with the guys is doing that. Might try to get some video of that, of us working and figuring out where to go on the trails. A couple other guys, they already got a basic layout of where we're gonna put the first trail. It's gonna be beginner friendly. That's what we want, like a, a friendly beginner loop to get people out there to ride and things like that. And as we build more, we're going to build jumps and drops and all kinds of good stuff. There's a lot of good things going to happen in Clarko uh, State Park. Well, I guess other than that, we can end the video there. Summarize for 2020 Enduros. Work on my backyard trail, work on Clarko trail, build a bike, get in shape, and lose this gut. Jeez. I ain't, that's a, this is the heaviest I've ever been. It's crazy. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this video was short. Sometimes I can ramble on about stuff over and over. Anyway, I think that's uh, all I got. Just a little summary of what I may be doing this uh, coming year. So stick with me, like and subscribe, uh, check me out on Instagram, yeah, go to my Teespring store and order a shirt, got some, got some cool little designs in there, so check that out, and they're pretty cheap, you know, I think the, the most expensive thing, I, the most expensive thing I got in there is uh, like a hoodie, I think, it's like 30 bucks, but my t-shirts and stuff are around 15 bucks, so go check that out, please, and like I always say, just ride, man. And I, I need to be doing that, right? <laughs> Later, guys.